Estino Berhad was founded by the Ng slash Oi family members, including Mr. Oi Ju Ki and his brothers, Mr. Ng Bak Ting, Mr. Ng Hung Sing, Mr. Ng Bak Sing, and Mr. Ng Hung Weng in 2000. The company is in the steel industry, where they specialize in the trading and processing of metal building materials and other steel products. Here are the list of products that they manufacture. Some of the countries they sell to are Malaysia, which represents about 90.4% of their total revenue for financial year end 2020. 2.6% comes from Bangladesh, followed by Indonesia, 2.6%, Philippines, 2.4%, and the remaining 2% is from other countries. For more information, you can visit their website at www.astino.com.my. Revenue has been bumpy but growing. Though it seems like gross profit remains stagnant over the years, a drop in revenue and gross profit in financial year end 2013 to 16 is due to the fall in ASP for their steel profits, in line with lower domestic and overseas demand for steel and intense competition in the market. Notice in financial year end 2016 to 2019, their gross profit increased 15% in financial year end 2017, with lower material costs and higher turnover but later dropped 9% in the following two years as a result of material costs being higher than the selling price and higher distribution costs incurred. Drop in revenue and gross profit in financial year end 2020 is obviously due to the MCO. Choppy operating profit as a result of the unstable gross profit explained in the previous slide. This shows Estino is heavily affected by the fluctuation of raw material costs as well as the market demand for steel. All this had resulted their margins to be very bumpy as well, not to mention, the growth of profit margins are declining. The only time they incurred better profit margin is when their selling price is more than the material cost plus higher sales turnover, particularly in financial year end 2016 and 17. A gradual drop in ROIC with a rise in costs mentioned in the previous slide. Unstable and dropping profit after tax while remuneration is on the rise, resulting in escalation of remuneration to PAT ratio. Estino has been a net debt company for 10 years. On a bright side, Total debts are dropping while there's a slight uptick in cash since financial year end 2019. Very unstable operating cash flow as a result of the occasional increase in working capital. Estino paid dividends for 9 years, however the distribution was very inconsistent. Negative free cash flow incurred in those years as a result of the large drop in operating cash flow. Estino is able to distribute dividends in financial year end 2011, 15 and 18 is because they have ample of cash reserve. All in all, I rate their company 4.1 out of 8, which is about 51.25%, almost breaching the degrading category. After analyzing Estino's 10 years of financial data, here are my thoughts. Number 1. The company is in a very volatile industry, as their business is heavily associated with commodities, in this case steel. That said, the only thing that Estino can control is their cost. But based on the declining trend on profit margins, it appears that the cost is also tough to manage as well. Besides that, I'm quite concerned with how heavily the company is leveraging on short-term debt to finance their business. Based on the data I collected, more than 80% of the total debts are short-term. What's even scarier is there are times where short-term debt represents 99% of their total borrowings. I'm not sure why, but my educated guess is they are using it to finance their working capital. Lastly, the demand for Estino's products is largely driven by the amount of activity and demand in the construction industry particularly in the residential and industrial property subsectors and secondary renovation work sector. This means whenever the property market is hot, Estino may stand to benefit from it. That's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for more contents like this. What company should I analyze next? Let me know at the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and till next time.